Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what you can expect in love. What are the recent and current energies in love? Any obstacles, issues you might need to be aware of? Who you might be dealing with and what's the potential outcome? Let's look at what messages there are for you. Spirit angels. Messages, please guidance. For Sagittarius, regarding love, for Sagittarius spirit, what do they need to know? What are the energies for Sagittarius? Let's start with the recent past. What do we need to know, spirit? Recent past energies. Wow, six of wands. Success, victory, recognition. You might have caught someone's eye here. Recent past energies. Maybe you were successful with a particular person that you met recently. Nine of swords. Maybe you're worried, anxious about success in love, worried, anxious about being recognized by the person you want to be recognized by. Yeah, some of you might be afraid of rejection. Maybe you have someone in mind that you picture success with, victory with, um, and you just want them to recognize that you are their person, that they want to be with you. Maybe they're not aware of that, or maybe this is someone that rejected you in the past. I feel like you're thinking a lot and I feel like you already have someone in mind or an idea of what successful love looks like. Okay, so what's the current energy? Current energies for, for Sagittarius. Current energies for Sagittarius. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So um, this is definitely um, someone driven, passionate, fearless. They're willing to take action, take risks. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Maybe uh, you or this person you're dealing with is willing to take the initiative. Let's see. Present energies for Sagittarius. Present energies. For Sagittarius. Wow, yeah, someone's taking a risk. The fool. Someone's willing to take a risk to have a new beginning, a new start. This could be you, Sagittarius, doing this, or someone that you're dealing with right now or will be dealing with in the near future. I feel like someone's taking matters into their own hands and they're like, I'm going to make this happen. I am going to trust that this is going to be successful or that. I'm on the right path. There's something new coming around the corner here. And it's all due to action. King of Wands is a doer. They don't think much. They don't plan too long. They're kind of just like, okay, let me just get out there and get this done. What are the challenges, obstacles? Challenges, obstacles, please, for Sagittarius. Challenges, obstacles, death, Scorpio energy, endings, transformations, and rebirths. An ending is a challenge, or some sort of change is a challenge for one of you. Or maybe this connection ended in the past, and that in itself is a challenge. Okay, what else? What else do we need to know about the challenges, obstacles in this connection spirit? Challenges, obstacles, please. For Sagittarius. Oh, wow. I only wanted one. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. There's still love, I feel, even if something is ending or changing or has ended or changed the knight of swords and the four of pentacles i feel like someone's opening up here maybe they were holding back
if there was an ending, I feel like there's still love here. I mean, it's that's clearly here, but I feel like communication is not the best. And that's probably a big challenge here. Someone needs to communicate, express themselves, be truthful, honest with themselves and with someone else. Okay, so let's get some Oracle cards here. I'm gonna get an Ever After Oracle for the overall energy. This deck is now available in my Etsy shop, which is linked down below. Spirit, what is the overall energy? What's the overall energy for Sagittarius in love? Slaying a dragon, triumph, enemies, achievement. I feel like this obstacle will be addressed or someone will have victory. Despite the fear and the anxiety of things not working out, I feel like things will work out here because someone's taking a risk to make that a reality. What else? What else? What's the overall energy here for Sagittarius? Enchantment, spellbound, captivated, delighted. Yeah, feelings are still, I mean, either this is how you feel about them or how they feel about you, but I feel like it's both of you. And when I see spellbound, captivated, delighted, I think about that person that's still kind of thinking about this. They still want this. They desire this. They're, they're thinking about making this happen. Almost like they're enchanted, like obs not obsessed, but enchanted with making an idea a reality or a wish a reality. Let's get another deck here. This is the second edition of the Stellar Energy Oracle deck, my first ever deck. The card back design is changing, but the rest of the deck will remain the same on, for the most part. All right, so let's see. What's the overall energy here for Sagittarius? About what's going on for them in love, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Paralyzing fear, there's that fear again and restoring balance. So someone's worried about, yeah, cold shoulder at the bottom of the deck. So I'm speaking to a Sagittarius. Sorry, my when a deck is new, it like slides a lot. I'm speaking to a Sagittarius where you're very worried about bringing something back together, back into balance, and the communication is not great. There's a distance between you. Or this other person, that's their energy. They're worried about actually fixing something, restoring balance when the connection is not doing so well. There's a cold, a coldness to the connection. So let's look at, uh, at this other person. What do we need to know about this other person? Spirit, what do we need to know about this person that Sagittarius is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about this other person? Justice, Libra energy, okay? Interesting, I'm getting someone that's not, whoever this is, they're not messing around. They could work in the legal field or have like an official job and you know, work in an official capacity or they're just making official decisions right now. Like I'm, I'm getting serious business here. Okay, what's this other person's energy? What is this other person's energy? This person that Sagittarius is, has, or will be dealing with. Eight of Cups. Maybe they walked away. And there you are, Sagittarius. Temperance at the bottom of the deck. Maybe it was this person, this person decided to walk away from you or is deciding to walk away from something else. If they did walk away from you, I get the sense that this justice energy is like making things right, but let me double check. Spirit, tell me more about justice. Tell me more about justice. 
Nine of Pentacles. What's at the bottom of the deck? Wow, the higher font. Freedom. Some of you could be dealing with someone that's freeing themselves of an obligation, a job, a commitment. This could have been someone that walked away from a commitment. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Let me know if this is resonating for you in the comments, Sagittarius, if you feel comfortable sharing. Did this person walk away from this connection and you're worried about getting a uh, balance again with them? Or did you walk away from them and now they're worried about restoring balance with you? Some of you, this person could have had something else, but tell me about the Eight of Cups. The star, Aquarius energy, healing, renewal. Yeah, there's judgment. This person could have walked away in the past, Sagittarius, and might want a second chance. Let's get a PS I love you. Figure out what's in their heart space here. What are they thinking, feeling here? This deck is also available in my Etsy shop. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this individual? What are their energies towards Sagittarius? What are their energies towards Sagittarius? Burdens and obligations? They're burdened by something here. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person and their energies, thoughts, feelings towards Sagittarius spirit? Oh, wow, I got three. Okay. Even though we are apart, our souls are united. Okay, very strong connection there. The grass was not greener on the other side. Very common. Never is. Regretting the past. Wow. Very clear energies there. This is someone that's regretting the choice they made in the past, Sagittarius. Now, bottom of the deck is I don't have the courage to face you. So it could be that maybe they overreacted. Maybe they made a mistake in walking away. What's the potential outcome here? What's the possible outcome here? For Sagittarius, okay. We have the Eight of Pentacles, working hard, putting in effort. What's the possible outcome here? Possible outcome here, spirit. Judgment. Let me get one more. Can I get one more spirit for the possible outcome for Sagittarius? Possible outcome in the near future. What can they expect? Seven of Wands. Okay. So this is interesting to me, and I'm going to take my time kind of like looking at it. The Hermit at the bottom of the deck. Okay, some of you, this person, because of the distance, because the communication hasn't been great, because someone withdrew, I feel like the person that wants to come back is fearing that there's going to be a block, that this is going to be a fight, a fight for a second chance. They're willing to work hard and prove themselves, this person. Um whatever it takes to have this rebirth awakening this this resurrection um, maybe they've been working on themselves working on improving themselves improving their situation 
etc. Others of you, I feel like there's almost like a, a, a resistance in the sense that this is not someone ready to come forward yet. They are blocking themselves from coming forward. And it could be due to fear. So I see two very distinct like scenarios there. There's two ways this could go. <laughs> and it's because I'm reading for the collective, right? So not all of you have the same situation with the same person. It's all gonna be different. Um, but I do feel like the overall message here is that someone made a mistake and they're regretting that mistake. And now they want to fix this, but they're terrified. Very common theme in a lot of readings and you might have even gotten a reading very similar to that. I think the difference here that I'm seeing um, Sagittarius is that this is a King of Wands and the Fool energy in the present. Someone's actually going thinking about taking a risk, um, making an effort. Eight of Pentacles is someone that's working hard diligently on something. So if they're afraid, they're working on maybe not being so afraid. Um, if they are, I don't know, maybe they could be working on this burden or obligation that they have. Maybe they in making a mistake and going to the grasses and greener, right? To the greener grass. Maybe they have burdens and obligations now that they have to address, you know, these, these, these past regrets, they need to be wrapped up. So I do see that as well, but I feel like there's a, a, a an element here of victory, of triumph. Like someone is really hopeful that this works out. And I feel like there's a chance for things to work out if the work is done. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Let me know in the comments if this resonated, if you feel comfortable sharing. Don't forget, don't forget to hit that like button or subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if you'd like to learn how to interpret the tarot for love at home during your own readings, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated for you. And hopefully I'll see you all in another reading very soon. Take care.